today on Logan Lee Adventures. It's day four of the Savoy Mont Blanc press trip, which also happens to be the final day of our media coverage, but it's packed with luxury hotels, scrumptious French cuisine, and the wonders of La Clusanne. We're now going to check in to our final accommodation of the press trip in the resort alpine town of Clusa. Checking into La Ferme, which is this beautiful little chalet here. I love these traditional stays because they give you a really good taste of what the Alpine's life is. Oh my goodness, y'all look at all these mugs. It's all wooden, so beautifully crafted. Wow. Got my room and yeah, it is so gorgeous here. I can't deal. First of all, they incorporated the classic Alpine design with modern touches and modern design. As you can see, it is so stunning. This is the toilet here, which is, I love this barn door that just slides. And then over here, we have the balcony. Let's go out and check out the view. <gasps> wow. The view from my balcony is absolutely stunning. Can imagine myself waking up here, pulling up that chair, having some hot chocolate in the morning to wake up to this. Goodness, get the whole entire town with the, the ski lifts here. You can see the church as well. This is so stunning in the nook and cradle of all these mountains. I also just want to give you a wee tour of La Ferme's gorgeous restaurant where we'll be having our breakfast and also tonight's cheesy Roubouchon dinner. But check out the Alpine traditional design here. I just love how the heritage of the French Alps just seeps through everything that La Ferme does. little tour of the hotel this gets i mean you have to think like what is this is this for wine like this canister barrel it looks so futuristic kind of like dragon ball z almost <laughs> if you know what i mean but it is a sauna how unreal is this i'll definitely be chilling here at the end of the evening because this is so cool oh my goodness it is beautiful Let's check inside. I'm gonna open it. <gasps> Whoa! There's a view from inside. Goodness! <sighs> this is incroyable. Wow. Y'all, I am spoiled. This is such, like I have said before, time and time again, it is such a privilege to be on one of these test trips because we really get to experience all the magicalness that, you know, that is here in such a beautiful region. We're now going to be experiencing Distillery de Arve in La Cruza. So this is in the heart of La Cruza town where we're staying. But as you can see, they already brew their own liqueur. 
and with such fabulous branding as well. I love the little illustrations on their bottles. And it's such a cool distillery so far. Like you can see these copper tins. Shop, we have a desk, we have our little kitchen, but downstairs, this is where it's magic. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, we don't want this, this, this Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's sweet. It's sugar. Well, it's no, it's not sweet. Oh. Okay. The sugar is added after. Oh. But it's strong. It's so strong. So taste like smells really tasty. Mm. That when you eat too too heavy, you know in mountain we eat That's the nasty. cheese or yeah. <laughs> heavy, heavy dishes. So after an heavy uh, an heavy meal, we drink a little jalebi because it's good for our digestion. Benefit when you're cold because it's um, when you have fever. Drink jalebi. It's gonna make you sweat, and your fever is gonna go down. Mm. We also add um, it's less sugary and it's stronger. Fifty mm. percent. This one is forty percent. This one is fifty. Already. So and for the summer, <laughs> we we created this one with vanilla. How does it taste? <laughs> really good. I like this one. Is it the yeah. vanilla's like yeah. really nice mixture? Yeah. You can taste the vanilla. Yeah, yeah, very well. You will see the difference between the previous one and the previous one. Right? Wow, see? I prefer this one. Yeah. Much yeah. more like vanilla -y. Yeah. And you can smell it yeah. right away. Yeah. yeah. See, it still says on your tongue. Yeah, yeah. I like the. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now in Hotel La Chamois, we're going to the deep nature spa. So it adds to the relaxation on top of after our distillery tasting. Cannot wait to check out this spa because already the facilities here and the hotel itself, it's gorgeous. So, ooh, and it smells very spa like already. I'm one of the girls the other times. Ooh, this is a story about the uh, really nicely designed. Got my towel, yes. my bathrobe for the spa. Thank God. Flip-flops as well, thanks to deep nature. 
got everything ready for our spa evening. Now we're all ready to go. Spa evening. Cha cha cha. Oop, can't forget that. <laughs> Can you hear that rush of the water already? Wow. Youngins. Beautiful. This takes press trip bonding to a new level because we just all showered together in the public showers while the spa showers and then now we can go in so we're ready to dive in I'm gonna take you with me for a little bit don't want to get you wet but I'm gonna take you with me in okay. yeah. <laughs> all right the water here is so nice if you can hear me because the jacuzzi is loud and okay the team is how did they get all the way over there now they go all the way over there but all right let's go let's go look at that view of the spa okay we're going to try out this wave thing this wave inside first let's check it out This out. Ooh. <laughs> Deep nature is just a luxurious experience. So we tried out the hammam, we tried out the sauna, we tried out the different massage, jacuzzi massage. Like they even have one where you stand on top with so and so the water blasts onto your feet to as a massage, which is incredible. Definitely a relaxing experience here. Got some infusion tea here. It's dinner time at Lefferne and look at the menu, it is so cool. Like you can open this right up. <laughs> I want to show y'all that all the candles up top, hey Patrick, <laughs> are lit. Like those are real lit candles. All of them. That is so beautiful. We're exploring La Amu des Alpes, which is this interactive Robuchon museum as well as for skiing and it's an open air museum outside of this main big building. So inside there's different e spaces like this one cool space I'll take you in right now. It shows you the making of the Robuchon cheese that we had for dinner last night. And then different rooms you can walk around and explore. 
just even exploring this historical building, you can see from this museum just how important cows and cattle are to the livelihoods of the locals here. Like and it all goes all the way back. And even yesterday when we were exploring, walking around La Cusa, there's always there's so many different cows, like statues and like different mementos to honor the cattle around here. So on the second floor is the skiing space that takes you through the history of skiing in this area, in this region. It's, it's actually so open and huge up here. It's so cool. I mean, I took you guys through these different spaces. Look at this huge sleigh. Wait, y'all, we can go into the sleigh. Oh, this is so cool. I love this about this museum, that there's so many like interactive things that you can do and you can actually try things out like slitting sitting in a sleigh, now I just need some reindeers to pull it. Right, there's an interactive monitor. So, let's see. It shows like a video of during this year, eight, 1878 to 1920. And this is a little ski workshop where they make all these wooden skis. Check out going to this cabin as well. Ski cabin. So cool. Alright. This is sick. Imagine this is how small the ski cabins were back then. <laughs> you have another person sitting here. Nice. If you want, you want to try? Ooh. <laughs> it's so cute. Even on an overcast autumn day today, I would say out of this press trip, today on the final day is very autumn-y now in the Savoy Mont Blanc, especially with where we are. So you can see how the clouds are so low, but the lake is so gorgeous. And this is like actually a zip line that you can do and zip line across the lake, which is really cool. I love the views of the chalets dotted along the lake. You can do a walk like I just did all around the lake and it's a really nice trail. It's like pretty easy. It's a stone trail with endless mountain views. Of course our restaurant is right nearby the lake. It overlooks the lake. So that's where we're heading right now to start lunch and our final meal. You can hear the ringing sounds of cowbells. Let's just listen. And they're like all the way out in the distance as well. And yet the ringing is like so harmonic. It just drifts over the lake. This is actually my favorite spot on the lake because from here, look out, you see all the mountains. And this one is a little dry. You can have a picnic and things, but we have a whole French lunch coming up, so... 
So I'm working up an appetite. I mean, I always have an appetite, but you know, burning some calories from last night's dinner with this impeccable view of a walk. This restaurant on the lake is just too adorable. I mean, I'd be quite happy if they converted this dining area into my living quarters, FYI, to make it my own chalet. It would just be so cozy to move in here. The standout dish, the fish at the restaurant is served uniquely with nettles found in the mountains. While nettles aren't nice for the human skin, you definitely don't want to touch it or fall in it, but the sauce the restaurant makes out of for raging it is just so lovely with the fish. And also, I had the most delicious honey glazed duck ever. Seriously, I wish I could take home the chef with me and all just all the ingredients here and then make them cook for me every single day. Now we're wrapping up our press trip from the Savoy Mont Blanc and we're back in Geneva Airport waiting to depart in the lounge back to Amsterdam. It's been such a great time. Thank you for coming along. It was such a cool trip to just bring you and show you mountains, the lakes, to the cities and towns. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Which part of the Savoy Mont Blanc did you like the best that I showed you from? And stay tuned for the next adventure.